Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane and I'm back today with a pandemic EBT video. In today's video, we're going to discuss more states have been approved for pandemic EBT. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that as well as what you need to do to get your cards when they arrive, guys. So definitely pay attention. And then we also have more states that are being approved for this emergency allotment for January. That's right, maximum food stamps for January. And then of course, the lovely 15% increase that everyone is looking forward to. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. So while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you each and every single day. Guys, don't forget that you can actually get that Amazon Prime for $5.99, darling. It is a new year, happy new year. Get you some prime on the way. Get it in two days, guys, as well as I still do have my ebook and planner for sale. So if you wanna start the new year with a YouTube career, go ahead and get it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about it because this pandemic EBT is hot topic, my darling. So we already know that the three states that have been approved are Indiana, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island. However, if you stay in Kentucky, McCracken County Public Schools say that you may get more money on your pandemic EBT cards due to the amount that the families received in November was incorrect. So if you're in Kentucky, check your cards, check your cards, check your cards. And might I add, this is Mitch McConnell state, like y'all voted for him, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, we, this is what's holding up our $2,000 stimulus. But the school district says that in the spring of 2020, the Department of Agriculture approved to allow families, Kentucky students, to receive money for groceries to replace the meals that were missed because of the distance learning. So the USDA approved for pandemic EBT based on the days spent in distance learning in August and September due to the pandemic. However, the school says that the amount on the cards for McCracken County school families received in November was incorrect. So this prompted the district to submit updated information to the Cabinet of Health and Family Services for the number of virtual days in the district that they were eligible for. And they said at this time, the school says the funds will be added to the cards with the students' names that were received in November. So students will get $5.86 per eligible date in August and September with the total amount it will vary per family. But hey, they said that they are not responsible. So the school system in McCracken said they are not responsible for issuing the cards. If you lost them, if you need a replacement card, you need to call 888 JG Whitworth. No, I'm joking. But 888-979-9949. And so if you have not received your card, then they have a different number that you can call as well. So Hey, check your cards if you're in Kentucky, you might have a little extra funds. Now, pandemic EBT cards are coming out if you stay in Minnesota. So if your family or you know someone who needs additional assistance for food and they're in Minnesota, students who qualify for the free or reduced lunch meals may be eligible for the pandemic EBT program to purchase food for days that they are not in school. So to be considered, you must submit the application for the free or the reduced lunch on there and it must be approved for the 2020-2021 school year. So guys, on here, even if you were approved last year, if you got the stuff in the summer, they are saying it does not matter. You will have to submit another application. So because you were approved for the summer, you're not automatically eligible. Eligibility is based on the current school year and the benefits may be retroactivated as well to September 2020 as well as they end up getting approved for this new money. But they said these cars are on the way. WIC also reminds families to turn in their lunch applications, even if you don't uh, 
qualify for the free or reduced meals, but they need to have that information by January 4th, 2021. So that's Monday, the day that everybody probably will be getting their stimulus checks anyway. Let me know down below if you're still waiting on your stimulus check. All right, so in the state of Texas, Texas is extending the emergency food stamp increase on 2021. So Governor Greg Abbott announced on New Year's Eve that Texas will provide the maximum amount of food stamps for the month of January. Now we know that Missouri said that they were gonna provide it as well. And he said that you will also see the additional 15% increase on your total benefits in January due to the legislation that passed. So unless you've been under a rock, you didn't watch my other videos on there, Congress passed an additional 15% from January to June on your food stamps. And if you get the maximum amount, you still get the maximum amount plus the 15%, okay, on there. So on there, the emergency January allotment will add to about $2 billion for Texans between April and December. And beginning January, you'll get that 15%. And they said the 15% and the emergency allotment should appear in your accounts by January 23rd. So you should be able to go. If you need help, you can go to um, Texas to apply for these benefits on the SNAP and Medicaid or yourtexasbenefits.com on there. So also in Missouri, the food stamps have been extended through January 2021 as well. We talked about them and they said that on here, you will get the maximum amount and the 15% as well. And on there, they said, hey, it should be coming to you with your regular allotment. So in Missouri, good job. You're going to get it as well. Also, we have another state, guys, in New Jersey. So New Jerseyans who receive food assistance through the state supplemental program will receive the 15% and they are approving for January as well. Human services have been providing the SNAP household with maximum benefits since March and the pandemic began and they said the 15% increase is independent of the monthly SNAP supplements. So you're gonna get them. Now on there, they said the increased benefits will be directly loaded to New Jersey SNAP recipients, family first EBT cards as part of your monthly regular allowance on there as well. So guys, I mean, we have a lot of people that's gonna be up there getting all this money as well. So moving along in Guam, Guam is going to give the maximum food stamp, excuse me, not the maximum, they're gonna get the 15% increase as well from January 1st through June and their household size depends on or your amount depends on your household size as well and they said that these allotments will revert back come July 1st on there. Now I got a few questions from people who had asked about hey if I'm receiving my SNAP benefits my food stamp benefits and what about if I'm drawing unemployment does this count? In the new legislation that they put if you are receiving unemployment your unemployment would not count towards your income when it comes to food stamps for right now. So I guess this was a big thing where before people were getting the $600 boost, the $300 boost, and yeah, you might've got extra money here, but then you had to pay for it with the food with your kids and they're like, no, no, no. So on here, you're gonna be able to get your boost in unemployment and you will be able to get your 15% boost in, um, and food stamp benefits as well. And you can still get your pandemic EBT card on there as well. So honey, it's just money everywhere, okay? So if you are unemployment, yes, you can draw both as well. Now guys, I heard through the grapevine, this is just what I heard, that Georgia is doing the pandemic EBT as well. I don't know that to be true. A person commented underneath the video and they said on the Georgia Facebook page, they had it, I went to the Facebook page, I could not find it. If you still want to know if your state is going to be doing the maximum amount of food stamps or if they're when they're gonna pay out or if they're doing the pandemic EBT, I checked all the state websites and did a video on that. However, you might wanna check their Facebook page, their Twitter, because a lot of times they do update this, but your girl don't be having all that time to do that, okay? So, and some people said if you log into the app, it'll let you know. So sometimes y'all know the information before I do because I don't have the app. 
but comment down below if I did not mention your state and you know that your state is going to do it, whether you found out on the news, in the app, via Facebook, because we have a lot of families who are depending on this money and they need it. And then a lot of questions too, I keep getting regarding the $600 payment for SNAP. That was only for the state of Rhode Island. So some people didn't listen too well. It's okay, we family, I get it. But on there, that was only for Rhode Island. So if you are in Rhode Island in December, you were getting that $600 check. It was not for any other state. Just wanna clear that up. So that's all I have, guys. Let me know down below what else you know about SNAP. Definitely sign up for that Amazon. Go ahead and get the ebook, the planner. Do it, let me know. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.